I think、uh, I'm just like very intuitive in my life. Like I do everything, choosing my fashion, choosing my role, how I'm acting. I don't even know. So for me, so easy. A lot of people choosing compare style. I fire my stylists because、uh, they always tell me, "Oh, you know how much this or who made it." I said. I don't care. I said, doesn't fit me. Doesn't matter who make it because people are so caught up by the designer's name, like George Armani, Dolce. They're great, but they're serving us. We're not a slave to the clothes.、Yeah. I wear whatever I want to. If I like the designer, I'll wear it. But it depends on my instinct. I'm like a everything. I don't think. I think when I'm not thinking, I'm genius. When、mm. I'm thinking, I'm an idiot.、Oh. What was your experience like working with、uh, Perry? I think he's he's very、um, talented young director, and I like his dedication to his work. And he do homework, and he wanted to be good. He puts everything he has in it. That spirit itself already already shows you the success because when you have everything talent, your heart in it, it's something magic gonna happen. If you're halfway, I just don't don't respect or like people only halfway. I say if you take the job, you put everything in it. Other When you have that, you can indulge, you can party, you can go crazy because you've given. So that's something he has. And for me, he totally trusts me and loves me and gave me room. He、uh, basically indulged me to go to be me, protect me. It's very it's, mature in that. You know, working with Finley is kind of a, a trip to the past for me because、um, you know the fir first film I ever watched in my whole life was The Crow. Here's the thing: I grew up in a strict Christian family. So、um, I never had a television. I wasn't allowed to watch movies because it was kind of like you know taboo kind of right, thing. Right.、Uh, it was a very strict,、uh, non-denominational church actually. So、um, I, you know, obviously with the way my family is,、uh, they sent me to boarding school when I was 12 years old. And at 14, I decided to do something rebellious and sneak out of the boarding school to watch a movie. I thought it was a documentary because it said the crow, and I'm like, why would I want to watch a you know documentary about bird or something like that? You know, the first thing that came out was just you know, boom! It was just this dark, visual, aesthetic world, and it, I guess I kind of formed my impression on what movies are from then on. And you know how they say the first impression always lasts. That was my first impression of movies, <laughs> but in terms of professionally, you know, she's just a、um, amazing person, and、um, you know, I was kind of worried a little bit about hearing all the you know paparazzi stories about her and all.、Um, but you know, I never had to worry about that when when she was on set. You just saw Jean Generation. What do you think? Jean Generation was a dire movie in a lot of good ways. I mean that with the, in the best way possible. It had that comic book sense. Visually lush,、uh, at the same time being quite macabre and、uh, and, and 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 moving. It was awesome. It's a great movie. Really enjoyed it. It was everything that I was expecting it to be. I like the direction that the director had in this particular film. He's a genius. He is going to be the next Steven Spielberg. It just had all the key elements to make the movie entertaining. That's what it's all about. Loved it. I love the characters that they picked out. I love the actors that they picked out. I was just kind of shocked at、uh, what's his name, David Michael Hall from CSI. I will never watch that the same again. I was like, he was such a bastard in this movie. It was new. It was creative. Byling did awesome. Awesome.、Uh, Perry Shin. And、uh, I was really quite surprised by Faye Dunaway being in it.、Uh, Gene Generation, I think, is a great example of independent filmmaking.、Uh, you can definitely see the, the synthesis of both Bai Ling, what she brings to the role, Perry,、uh, the director, everything、uh, that he's he's put into his vision of this movie, and also all the, the staff members that we had inside there、uh, coming together to make something that's really better than a single person's vision. And、uh, it's, it was really.、Um, It came across. Perry did an awesome job with it. It was a very exciting time when we were all shooting, and、uh, and tonight it was kind of an emotional experience for all of us to be sitting together watching the whole thing for really the first time. Watching watching your baby yeah, come to life. Yeah, it was really, and, it, and we were all we all had probably different visions of what it was gonna be in the first place. And then tonight, it obviously it took on a life of its own, and and it was all of us as a group reacquainting ourselves with the film, and so it was a really good time. Bottom line: thumbs up, thumbs down. Gene Generation. Thumbs up. It's going to be the new Blade Runner. I tell you, it's been really nice talking to you, and a, a lot of the people we interviewed have really strong feelings and are really supportive of you. And I just wanted to pass along, you know, in case they don't get an opportunity、uh, to say it to you, that all of their well wishes and their good feelings and and、uh, future success to you. Well, thank you very much. You know, I wish,、uh, even though I was born in Singapore.、Um, 
and I lived there for 19 years of my life. Um, I actually was um, forced to leave the country because you know they wouldn't accept me in a single film school there. And the only place that would accept me was uh, this town. And that's why I made my first film here. And now, you know, Singapore is obviously calling me <laughs> first Singapore filmmaker, blah, blah, blah. Um, but if you see any press and article, um, if anybody asks me, I call myself a Tucson filmmaker because this town believed in me. And that's why Gene Generation, you know, is shown here for the first time, you know, a few months before it's released theatrically. Um, but I believe in giving back to your town what they gave you. And I, you know, I, I will call this town my home. And it will always be my home, and the people here will always be my people. And, it, you know, they accepted me. And I don't think there's anything in this world today that would take me away from that. And I appreciate it with all my heart. Perry Reginald Teo, he's uh, born in Singapore, but he claims Tucson as his home. What does that mean to you to have someone making this kind of movie uh, that's from our town? I, I'm happy to hear that uh, he keeps Tucson close to his heart, even though being from Singapore. But there is a great pool of talent here in Arizona and in Tucson. We are a good, creative production town. Uh, a lot of movies have been filmed here, a lot of great movies, and this is another good movie being filmed by local Tucson. You know, this is a great town. It has lots of artists here, and they all support each other, and there's a very nice community that I don't think anybody really knows about that, that exists here. And they really, all of them are world-class artists that really produce good work. For those of you who have not been to The Loft, I just wanted to point out that The Loft is Tucson's nonprofit independent movie house. Tell us a little bit about what the Loft Cinema means to Southern Arizona and the film community here. Well, if you know Peggy Johnson, this lady's got more energy and enthusiasm than 15 guys like me. And of course, she's considerably younger. Yeah. And 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 her whole life is about bringing this kind of entertainment and this kind of creativity to the area. The other thing, from a business standpoint, this lady is is wired and dialed into the industry like you wouldn't believe. And besides that, she's just fun to work with. This is one of the things that I love to support in town, and I'm a movie junkie, and I'm a producer, and I'm also in the airplane business. You are amazing. You are truly a... a, a Crazy. No. A, I'm just me, you know? I want to be fully me, because that's the gift I have as who I am, because we're all different. If you dare to be truly who you are, to be the most beautiful of who you are, then you're the most beautiful. Then you give the gift of who you are being this lifetime to others. That's what I'm doing, to be truly loyal to me of who I am. No matter how I behave, behave how I think, who I am, I just show it honestly. It's really been a, it's really been a pleasure speaking with you, and I, I'm speechless. You're just a wonderful human being. Um, I look forward to seeing the movie again, and thanks for taking the time. Enjoy your time here in Tucson, and let's get to the after party. Okay, let's have some fun. All right. Thank you. If you want a less cerebral alternative to uh, the hogwash which which pervades cinema these days, I say go with Gene Generation. Uh, if you want to be uh, excited by a, um, a visual style that's purely independent, I'd say check out the movie. Make sure you go and see Gene Generation.